down here in the river bottom, cutting some big trees. I actually put my 32 inch bar on this morning on my 661. Rarely ever do we have to use long bars anymore, just a handful of times a year. We don't come across that many big trees in our part of the world anymore. This is kind of the exception. Dad really thinks that this is the last track of what he calls virgin timber that he knows of anywhere. It's definitely the last track of big timber here in the Sack River Valley bottom. Him or I either one know of. It's probably the only track he hasn't cut. More, more to the point there. Uh, I'll flip you around. So, whoop. Yeah, he's like a kid in a candy store cutting this. Uh, this is still part of this project where they're gonna. This is gonna be farm ground. This is. It's gonna take a a lot of dirt move, but they'll do it. I assure you, they will make this farm ground. But, yeah, that sycamore doesn't look that big, but those things are huge. And that's not even one of the big trees. Because we've got trees here, like this cottonwood behind us. That thing is an absolute brute. Maple, ash, cottonwood, sycamore, uh, just typical river bottom timber stuff that grows down here along the river. There are a few walnut out here in this track here uh, back in 2007. Or 2008, excuse me, 2008, I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys remember right back then when fuel prices were out of sight, diesel, we actually cut some really good maple all the way up there on the corner. This belonged to a different landowner at the time. This has recently changed hands. But we cut some really good maple and a few walnut out of there. We didn't go very back, very far back in here. Well, that's now we're cutting all this. Everything in here that can be utilized is getting cut. In a sense, I hate to see it go because I love seeing this big river bottom timber. But at the same time, I love cutting this big river bottom timber. Now, I didn't bring my tripod today. I messed up. I left it in the skitter. I thought I had another one in the Forerunner, but I don't. My dad getting ready to bring down a big sycamore there. Been cutting some ash, and I hung up a maple. I thought I could shoot that gap right there with my notch, but didn't get quite get it. That's bad because I wanted to cut that ash it's hung up in. Dad's got trees laying everywhere out there. I've got a whole bunch of them back here behind us. Kind of down the ditch, big sycamore. Thousand plus feet sycamore, which in the river bottoms, that's not hard to do. Dad's cutting something there. It's well over a thousand feet. The bad thing is, even though they're big volume trees, you still don't have anything. If you look up in the very top of that tree, let's zoom in. I kind of see a squirrel hole up there. See it? Right there. Let me zoom back out if I can. There we go. Zoom back out, phone. I think. No, I'm messing all kinds of things up. There we go. Dad's making sure I'm out of the way before he puts that on the ground. When you're cutting big trees like that, communication's pretty key. Little tree could reach somebody. Definitely have to have the 648 down here to drag this timber. We'd be here forever with the 548. Starting to go. It's really moving up top. Starting to pop. She 
took half a day for that thing to hit the ground. Look at that coon. I see him. That big old coon there. <laughs> Poor guy, lost his home. Now in my short 37 years on this earth, I don't know that I've cut maybe one or two jobs of timber that are equally comparable to this. Not that I've been logging 37 years, 36 years I've been logging, not a full 37, of course. So in, in that time, I can only remember Dad and I taking on a couple jobs that uh, compared to timber like this. One of them was blow the palm to tear dam back in December and January, December of 2008, January of 2009. I'm crazy about dates and numbers. It, it it amazes me sometimes, but I don't forget. I can forget anything else, but I don't forget timber. Uh, and just a minute ago when I was gassing up, you can hear Dad saw in the background. I just brought this big sycamore down here. Uh, Dad said this is what timber used to be like all up and down the river. Tracks of timber like this. Just massive trees. He said when, when he was a boy, when he started logging, when he was logging with his dad, you know, 60 70 80 years ago that's this is what the timber was like around here now today this is probably the last of the virgin timber that i know of around and dad thinks it's the last that he knows of as well so it's uh it's pretty cool to cut something like this something that we've wanted to cut for a long time uh it, it is i mean even though it's just pallet timber it's the ash and the maple in here are remarkably good. Even the sycamore is good. Uh, just, like I said, these trees will run well over a thousand foot a tree. It, just the size. That's my 661 right there. Don't mind the slop cutting job on the hinge, but there was another one over there. And we've just got trees laying everywhere. In comparison, that maple looks small. But that is a good size maple, but compared to a sycamore like that, it's the, the size they are. I mean, this this is really good timber and a, and a good bottom on the river. It's a ash I cut just a bit ago. Uh, just like I said, it, really good timber. Really fortunate to get to cut it. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.